Do you ever wish that you had an instruction manual for all those insignificant moments in your life? Someone that answers the questions you've always thought but never bothered to ask. Welcome to Patchwork is here to help you navigate the nuances of everyday interactions. And today, we'll be teaching you how to handle the heat. So grab your knitting needles and a blanket because it's time for three old friends to sit around and sew a new patch into their quilt of life. So join me, Dion, under the covers with Christian. Welcome to Patchwork. And Josh. Welcome to Patchwork. With a radius of 695,700 kilometres and hurtling through the Milky Way at 200 kilometres a second and making up 99.8% of the solar system's weight, the sun is great and really big. (laughs) At about 5,500 degrees Celsius on the surface, it's also really hot. (laughs) So as you open that front door and walk outside and look up to the sky and feel those rays beating down on you, just remember that has travelled 147.43 million kilometres through space in an unbroken straight line, unobstructed, until it came to a stop at your stupid face. (laughs) Great. Today, we're going to be talking about how to handle the heat. And we have RMIT fact check in the the hot seat. Um, It's been a bit hot in Melbourne lately. It's been wonderful. Our summer sort of just kicked off. So we thought we'd chat a bit about... What's it like to handle the heat? What are you preparing for when you're going out for the day? Christian, the, when, yeah. you, when you see that weather forecast and you see a hot day coming mm-hmm. up, what are you thinking? What, what are your immediate thoughts? I think at the start of the season, I'm nervous. <laughs> nervous? Be- well, because it takes my body a few <laughs> hot days to to readjust. Yep. Mm. And I can feel there's there's that kind of interim period where sweat builds. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. On a hot day. Oh, yeah. yeah, but, yeah. but the first few hot days. Yep. And I also yeah. think... That my body is in winter mode still, <laughs> and I do think there's a transitional period where my skin hardens a little bit, but, and there's a thawing out process. It sounds like as well. Yes, it's yeah. Like wow. it's just hibernating in a cave. Honestly, <laughs> feels that way. So when summer hits, it's like my body goes. You're gonna have to wear t-shirts soon. Hardens up a little <laughs> bit. So sweat is your big thing. For me, it's just getting burnt. That's burning. Yeah, because yeah. ah, the, yeah, yeah, the yeah. sun is ninety eight point eight percent of the of the everything. Yeah, it's just getting burnt, and it's just like the the threat of UV. And if you're listening overseas, you won't even know what UV is. <laughs> You'll have an ozone layer everywhere you go. Yeah, it feels way hotter overseas. <laughs> I'm sorry, sorry, feels- I mean, I'm in here. Oh, oh like oh, the oh. sun, the pa- the yeah. pain that comes from the sun. The but pain. Just, yeah, like if, if you feel it, it's it's got an intensity to it that yeah, I, it I don't think exists elsewhere. No, it Didn't we fix that? The ozone, the hole in the ozone. Remember that? Oh God! How yeah. did we fix it? We got rid of CFCs in the nineties. Yeah, it's great. Fluorocarbons. <laughs> And now, but now you see it written on cans. It'll say no CFCs. It's like, yeah, it's completely banned. How? How? <laughs> it's of course. Isn't that interesting? That science was like, well, we've got this big hole. It's going to burn your skins. And everyone, everyone, everyone listened and said, yes, yeah, all right, exactly. Jesus. And all the corporations went, okay, we'll change that to that save the planet. No, horrible. No, no, no. They just <laughs> p- people were like, they listened to it and then they're like, oh, the cans. <laughs> That's all it's I did. Damn cans. But also, there was probably a really good alternative to CFCs. What, I've got what, no idea what a CFC. I've does. got no idea what a CFC is either. Nah, what is it? What, what, it's like KFC, I guess. What could it be? <laughs> <laughs> Climate fried chicken. <laughs> but I was thinking, so I, I mainly worry. I love, I love the heat and the hot weather. I'm a big fan of it, oh, and I yeah. actually enjoy us getting a sweat on. Can it get too hot? It- jo- Josh really comes into his element when it's hot. Mm. You see, the first day I remember when I was living with him. The first day that I would consider it summer mm. is the first day that I see Josh's chest <laughs> after winter. It's true. That That is something that you love doing. You I love, love showing an off open your chest. shirt. An open shirt. Get that breeze going through. Is that what it's for? It's, it's yeah. just to get some circulation. It's to get two things. It's <laughs> yeah, You've got the air hitting your bare body as you move through. Yeah. But also, I find sometimes, I don't know if you guys ever go topless around the house on really hot days, mm. I find that, that my body gets feels really fucking dirty. Like it gets really sticky oh, yeah, and gross, yeah. like I sitting on chairs, night. sitting on couches. But when you're when you're sitting on a couch in your bare uh, skin, yeah, doesn't it like stick? And okay, what sort of couch yeah. have you got? What do you mean? What kind of couch? Depends on the couch. No, couch just, some couches just are very gen- sticky. Just generally, I don't want. I don't <laughs> want skin. Honey. skin on, <laughs> I don't want skin on couch. Yeah, you know, that's fabric. what I'm saying. Yeah. I I don't like that. So I I like a, a shirt that's open because then I get the best of both. What worlds. if you want to lie on your belly on the couch? I don't do that. <laughs> I give that up. I forego that. So then how do you prepare? If you're leaving the house, you know it's a hot day. Let's say you've looked. I had a look at the different UV indexes. Mm. It's very different to a fire danger rating. 
Because a UV, UV index starts at low. Oh, wow. Whereas a fire danger rating starts at moderate <laughs> and ends at... Do you know what it ends at? Catastrophic. Catastrophic. Is it? Catastrophic it is. Isn't that enormous? And uh, and so if if you look at the... Do you ever look at the UV? Well, you can't only, look at UV. I don't. I personally don't. But I pay now, zero yeah. attention to UV. Really? Yeah. Well, you, you you should, <laughs> <laughs> but you clearly do, Dion. Uh, yeah, I do, I do, because that because that's the thing that will get you burned. And but what does that change in your behaviour when uh, you see catastrophic? Oh, slip, slip, slop, slap. And I think there's a couple of other things that have been that slip, slop, slap was when we were younger. They've added on a few other things. A few S's, few S's. There, there are there are other things. What? Slip, slop, slap, shade, shit. Shade shit show. Shade shit show. Oh, slips up that shave. Sponsored by Gillette. <laughs> but I don't. Yeah, I pay no attention to the UV because it's not going to change how I prepare for the day. Oh. Do, do well. It's obviously, if you're, look, if you're looking at the UV, you are applying sunscreen. Dion, yeah. do you have any particular techniques? Do you enjoy applying sunscreen? I think I've just learnt that sun. There's. There's great sunscreens out there that don't feel like you're wearing sunscreen. Mm. But I always had, when I was younger, I had Banana Boat and a few others. And they're really thick boys. What kind of dispenser though? Oh, great. I don't put enough time into thinking about it. Because you've got your roll on. You've got your spray. That's Roll becoming on. the last five Sp- years. Spray the- is so good. The spray's great. Real, but uh, spray's great. Roll on. I've sure I've seen roll on. Yeah, well, but it's just not share it with your mum. <laughs> it's just it's just for under it's your not pits. Not very common. under your pits. And then there's like the, the just a regular bottle, the regular like bottle, toothpaste yeah. bottle type one. Yeah. Then oh, there's the pump pump, pump action. What, what what do you think of pump action? Everything like what? Why is your shampoo pump? I, I don't know. Is your is your bath <laughs> is your bath? What's it called? No, no. Soap? I I don't mind the pump. The pump. It just you know you're gonna get like a cheap product because it's in like a five liter yeah. carrier. Oh. So you're pumping the shit out the of it. The joy of the pump. If yeah. you're loaded up with things, the single hand. You can, that's never, the best of the pump. Hang I on, never what, single hand pump. You can sing, single hand pump. Why are you loading up? Why have you got things? I'm saying if you've got, yeah, say you're going to the beach or something. Why are you carrying so much oh. and I'm trying say, to put sunscreen on? Yeah. I'm saying in a pinch, <laughs> maybe you've got your beach towel and your surfboard. Oh, and Josh is going to get burned in so many <laughs> weird spots. So, so what? What do you? So, what's your preferred receptacle for sunscreen? Um, the spray feels like beach only to me. I feel like I'm not good enough for the spray. Good. Oh, don't, you, don't you, you get think? it in your eye? It's too, no, no. It's just like to people. People. I don't. No, that, that coke. There's a coconut one. Ah, it's yeah, nuts. L- like Reef. a a latan, oh, latan. coconut. Latan. latan. Yeah, that's not French, is it? That's not a French brand. But do you? What do you mean? Is you're it? not good enough for the spray. What do you mean? I feel like I, I don't know. I I feel like it. Go, it also goes everywhere. So yeah. like I'll spray it on my arm and I'll get the next person. Yes. And I, I don't know. I feel like I'm not. I don't know. I think it's, it's all, yeah. I'll talk to what? my psych about it. You know what? It's always that the fact that the, the the benefit of the spray is you get a big coverage, right? Yeah. But you're so worried about getting it on other people, you do it really close anyway. Exactly. Well, so it's exactly well, the same. Well, the issue yeah. with the issue with applying it yourself using a squeeze tube is that. <laughs> <laughs> A squeeze tube. <laughs> what else would you call it? I never thought that. A tube. What? A squeeze tube. tube sounds a very funny thing. If you uh, got, just if the you uh, can... squeeze tube thanks, mate. <laughs> I'm going Both to London. You I'm going to London. Don't have a car. better name for it uh, right now. Uh, t- tube is good. Uh, yeah, squeeze tube. 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 Yeah, is good. yeah cool. Yeah. Yeah. And what do you do with that tube? <laughs> and, and what do you travel on? Squeeze? What do you squeeze travel on in London? A squeeze tube? <laughs> oh, my God. So, when you give a little squeeze. Jeez, we're hard on you, aren't we? But. The distribution's the hardest thing. That's what the spray yeah. bottle takes out of yes. it. It evenly yeah. distributes. I agree because I my um, my I'm decently hairy. <laughs> Getting post it, a video, try, post a to... video of Josh's arm on social media. So doing the squeeze bottle into your hands. <laughs> yes. Once you get that on, it, it gets dense in your oh, hair very quickly, oh. and you can't spread it what at all. What do you think yeah. of a squeeze bottle into the hand? Uh, yeah. it's worth two in the fist. <laughs> Hang on. What about and then th- that's a problem. What about what about your face? What about oh, beard? So he's yeah. Shocking. Do you, do you go? You go onto hand first and then body. Really good. Or straight onto. I sometimes will go straight into the arm and then smush that it's, in. It's, um, I just yeah. You're right. It's always my left arm. Always yeah, start with that. Really, really vigorous. You start with the left you, arm and then use some of that. Put that maybe on my oh, neck, like yeah, cologne. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, just yeah. Straight, <laughs> just yeah. Up there. It's a really French vibes. We got latan. <laughs> we got cologne. We got everything. Um, we'll ever, on your wrists, so ever since that on. ever since I've shaved my head, putting sunscreen onto my head has become a much easier experience. Oh, and enjoyable. I, uh, I don't know. It's oh, fine. Oh, it's I'd fine. Love to do it, but it's just it's just the big squeeze and then the rub through like shampoo. Like shampoo. Yeah, it's Great. wonderful. But one thing also that is a little disconcerting about. 
putting sunscreen on is the moment you need someone to put it on your back. Yes. Yeah. That's it's someone a, that you don't know. Well, it's a, well, you got to pick the person yeah, yeah, based yeah. on how much you trust them, yep. how comfortable you are with the intimacy of that moment. Wait, what don't you like? But it, because it's intimate, that moment, because you're saying, yeah. be gentle, but sometimes rough with my back. And also and very thorough. Yeah, yeah that's yeah, right. Yeah. No, but that's right. It's a trust exercise. Yeah, I mean, if, you, if you get burnt... But from someone that's rubbed, you know, if you get burned on your back and someone's, you, you, you can, you can take them to court. <laughs> <laughs> but I remember, I remember growing up, my cousin didn't want to touch other people's skin. And I would oh. say to him, can you do my back? And he'd be like, oh, and you'd really? feel this like kind of dainty set no. of fingers. You know, you want, I'm getting burned today. You want to have it I'm, in there. I want, nice same, with the, same with a foot rub. If you're going to rub my feet. <laughs> With with sunscreen on, not my toes. <laughs> <laughs> no, but you just have to grab like the, f- the yeah. You want to go into that it. first that first bite of, <laughs> of the foot cherry. You have to just grab hold of it. Do you? I don't want to be tickled. And how often are you asking a stranger to do your sunscreen though? Never, never, never. never. A stranger yeah, <laughs> at the beach. What? Hang Josh, on, hang on. Have you done that? The, I'm pretty sure I have. If you're at the beach by yourself, I don't think that's weird. Wait, you would ask a stranger to yeah. apply sunscreen to yeah. your back? Yeah, I, I would. I would. Why don't you just wear a shirt, if, or, or you'd get them to put your shirt yeah, on? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's. But that's interesting because if you put yourself in the other position, if you approached me, Josh, I didn't know you, and you said, "Can you apply sunscreen to my back?" My back. I wouldn't know how to respond. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I've done it for people. Oh, before. that's such a good point. Because how do you knock it back? Oh, sorry, mate. I don't really feel yeah, comfortable right. you touching kinda, your body. You kind of have to COVID. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's genius. This is racist. Uh, COVID? COVID? <laughs> Can I not do this? Is COVID work? I don't want to do it. Have you done a back rat test? <laughs> <laughs> Swab your back. Burnt you. back rat. <laughs> Burnt back rat. But Great. yeah, I I feel comfortable doing it. I yeah. think the key is you don't. want... It's non-sexual, right? So I would never pick. A woman to make no. them feel uncomfortable or anything like that. I'd always pick another guy. Yes, yes, yes. Be clear of like, yeah. hey. you want to make the guy feel really uncomfortable. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, no I've definitely done it for people, and it's been a non-issue. It's a good. Yeah. No, it's a good point though. Like if you like, you'd use COVID. You'd use. Oh, sorry, I've got a do you couple reckon, tunnel in that in that moment. Do you reckon you'd be good at coming up with an excuse on the spot? Uh no, I'd just be like, oh you'd yeah, sure, yeah, you totally yeah. do it. And is, and that's and you're comfortable with that? Uh, yeah, because it's a piece of cake. Knowing that the person is in the middle of applying sunscreen to your back going, how did I get here? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even want to come to the beach today. I'd, I'd be very happy with them doing that. But I do you guys wear daily daily driver sunscreen? No. And God, I should. No. I should I'm, as well. I, everyone says I should. Yeah. I'm always... T- I've told it every couple of days. Yep. You should wear sunscreen. Yeah. Why don't we do it? I only really wear it when I'm like going out. I'm like, I'm going to be out for a while, but not like, I'm leaving the house. I'm putting sunscreen What on. do you think is the real reason why you don't? I'm tr- I was just trying to think of it then. Why don't we want to... W- do you moisturize? Nah. Yeah, there you go. That's that, a- uh, Josh, I only recently learned when to use moisturizer. Mm. It was such an enormous moment in my life. And... I, I don't know. Now that I look back on it, I go, you probably should have investigated this earlier. Yeah. So my my forehead was peeling <laughs> and my Sorry. part... My Sorry, I didn't mean to laugh. I just <laughs> imagine you ripping your forehead off yeah. every day. <laughs> really <laughs> daily <laughs> calendars. <laughs> <laughs> Christian's advent forehead. <laughs> um, and my partner said to me, you should moisturize that. And I said, it's okay. I'll just soap it up. <laughs> and w- opposite, probably what we, what I didn't know at the time is oh. soap makes it drier. Yeah, so it'll make. I've been doing it my whole life. <laughs> really, put a bit of moisturizer on there, it will soften Jeez. the bitch right up. <laughs> <laughs> um, with the day you're talking, you check the UV rating down. Yep. yep. When you see what temperature it's going to be, yeah. How does that affect your guys' dress? Oh, great question. So if if it's above twenty one, I'm getting my pins out. Yeah. <laughs> Get my pins 20, out. Twenty plus for me. I'll shorts. do. I'll do anything wow. to get my shorts out, and yeah. not because I think I have particularly nice legs. I think they're okay, but I love. I love the feel. The feeling of breeze on my leg. I, I don't want to wear pants. There's I something. Pa- I, I don't wear pants at home. There's a mental state that comes with shorts. I sometimes wear pants at and home. I, yeah, and it's, and a I'm big always mental shift. and I'm always chasing ah, that. I reckon that's it. That's it. And then if it's then um, like thongs or or sandals, weather, you're off to the you're off to the races. Yeah, which. Yeah, you need clothes shoes you, for the races. What's <laughs> what's that? What's your threshold for shorts, Christian? Uh, yeah, I'd say about, like for me, it, it's if if I'm leaving the house and I can see that it's brilliant outside. If the sun <laughs> is brilliant, yeah, then I'll put shorts on. So you have a peek outside. 
Yeah, absolutely. And and when you see a few clouds, do you take that into consideration? I think the bigger the bigger adjustment for me is not is going with just a t-shirt and committing to just and a nothing t-shirt. else. <laughs> really? <laughs> uh, <laughs> no, but but a t-shirt and no, no shirt pants. or jumper or jacket with me. Yeah. Oh, there is a commitment, Huge. especially when going out at night, to not take any kind of jacket. Yeah. Oh, well, I love that feeling. We went to a gig the other night. It was 33 during the day. Mm-hmm. What was your thought process when you went out to the gig? I checked what it was going to be at night. And yeah. what did you see? Like high teens. When, when, you, when you see oh, that high the, teens, whatever it was. Oh. Whenever you see that the next, <laughs> <laughs> the next day is going to be warm as well. Yeah. Oh, Basically yeah. bring a beach towel with you. Yeah, right. Yeah. Which you did today. Yeah. <laughs> it looked really nice. <laughs> and you can see Chris's beach towel on our YouTube Um as well, we but, film all these episodes. Let's, let's just say that it is a beautiful, brilliant day outside. What are you? What's the first thing in terms of activities that you're thinking? What are you off oh. to? What do you want to do? Well, I feel like I anything always, you do, or what do you want to avoid? avoid? Yeah. See, I don't have any. It doesn't prevent me from doing things. People, nah. people sort of talk about. I oh, don't do this on this day or whatever. I'm like, yeah. I'll just do everything because I don't like. I said I don't mind getting a sweat on. Yeah. I quite like that. It, I don't, I don't know why. I like the feeling of it. I'm like, this is great. I love hot weather. So, yeah. I, I don't mm. cross anything off my list. But in terms of like, I don't know, some people love to go shopping or whatever because you're in the cool air conditioning yeah. in those places. What do you think going to shopping? Nah. Shopping mall. Not for me. I don't, I don't want to miss the sun. Yes. I don't necessarily want to spend, like, I don't want to be roasting in it for too long. Yeah. But I don't want to know that I've missed it. One of the most depressing feelings is being in an office. Yep. Looking out a window at it, agree more. at it yeah. being warm outside. That yeah. was the worst Shocking. thing when I used to work at a, in an office and it was just like you'd get outside at the end of that day and you go, I didn't experience this day. Yeah, yeah. I, I did not experience this. this day at all. Yep. Yeah, totally. Like nothing. And that's why we're advocating for all workplaces to be outside. Aren't we, Christian? Work from outside. It's a revolution. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I really like, I think the perfect company uh, for me is consuming liquid in the heat, any liquid. I thought you said. I thought I you like, were going to say the perfect company that you'd ever work for would be. Yeah, it would be an outdoor with big gyms. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, consuming, liquids. consuming liquid yep. with good music on because there are specific artists oh. that I only listen to in summer. Yeah, it's a vibe, right? That's it. Well, Spotify only releases them for summer. <laughs> it only becomes when unlocked. Is, oh, do you know the first day of summer? December first right? of December. Is it? Why wouldn't it be? I was just checking. I, I mean, I knew it. <laughs> just checking. <laughs> I, I agree. A, a park outing on a nice hot day, love that. But mm. I do feel if it's really hot, you've got to have your respite. You've got to have mm, the place yeah. you can go to save you. Okay, so let's say in Melbourne you're going to Edinburgh Gardens. It's a hot day. There's trees everywhere. And someone says to you, should we sit in the sun? Let's say it's 30, let's, oh, let's make it 29. Nah. Do you want to sit in the sun? What's your nah, answer? You got to be dappled. you got to find a Perfect. dappled spot. Perfect answer. <laughs> what? Ding, 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 ding. Rule. If you're going outside and sitting in the sun, got to be dappled. <laughs> are you sitting under a dapple tree or something? What are you talking about? What's D- dappled? dappled sunlight? Like bit of tree cover, bit of sun coming through, not complete shade. Wait, do you know what dappled means? No. I okay. didn't I'd never heard of the word, but I can it sounds like what it is, which is dappled. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's the, it's the when mesh, the, the, sun, mesh. the dappled sunlight kind of. Yeah, so there's a yeah. bit of sun coming through okay. but also shade. Yeah, I understand that when you explained it the first time. Okay. Josh mansplaining <laughs> dappled to me. <laughs> What about you, Christian? You going straight straight for the shade? Uh, yeah, I like to experience the sun from a shady position. Uh, 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 is that experiencing the sun? No, no, no. You can't experience. The <laughs> no, sun because from a shady I'm experiencing position. the heat. Yes, oh. good point. But, but there's something about the dryness of the air that I don't love. Of, in a park, we're talking about. Yeah, I think I think I'm happy for full sun if I'm at. If I can have a body of water nearby, and that's my cool off thing. Mm. But if I don't have immediate mm. cool off potential, I want to sit under a tree. Can you but- imagine if, like, an indoor plant, we went outside, and if we got full sun, we got a bit taller, and if we got a bit part <laughs> shade, it sort of just Christ. that's that'd be great, wouldn't it? Tricky, give me some water. <laughs> <laughs> can someone explain to me the investment of a beach day? Some people swear and love the beach. Swear the beach. They swear the beach. <laughs> They swear by the beach and spending all day there, right? Yeah. Yeah. I'm happy to spend time there, hmm. but the lying down in the sun? Yes. Someone explain that to me. Oh, uh, what is it about it's like the hot, hot sun? No, no, wait a second. Because you can rest inside in a slightly cooler environment 
Is there something that feels nice to I you, think, Josh, about sitting in the yeah. roasting sun for hours on I, end? I think it's it's the the hot and cold. So then it's going in for the swim off the back of that. But I think is it's this that. nice? These yes. are just activities to do. Yes, it's nice. It's I I, I like so th- so the moment of enjoyment for you is going from beach to water. It's going from warm to cold. It's the refreshing. That's refreshing. I think it's that refresh. You got I'm hot and sweaty. Okay, and now so. Submerge. Okay, so for me, it's all. So what I should be doing more at the beach (laughs) is transitioning between the the sand and the water more. Yes, I think this is so good. You're 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 a young kid just trying to work out what the beach is. (laughs) But I've (laughs) never understood. I I was in a family where everyone would go, let's go to the beach, and then they'd spend the next three hours lying on the sand. It's a good point. And no one would talk about how hot it was. Is a lot of it about getting your rig out at the beach? For those beach for people, 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 people that are beach I, I think it's about getting sun and getting a tan. Can you rig out? I get a bit of that. Like, I like the sun to get a bit of a tan. Yeah, But sure. I think... I think I, I know what you mean now that you're saying it. I think there's the activities as well. You've got your, your beach cricket. You've got your all kinds of stuff. You know, body surfing and yeah, that kind yeah, of stuff. Yeah. So, there's a lot you can do. Frisbee. Body surfing. <laughs> Just surfing on someone else's body. <laughs> <laughs> Here at Welcome to Patchwork, we like to increase your vocabulary. So that is why every, you know, six or seven patches, <laughs> we'll play a game called Patchword of the Day. The family watched as Pa tried lifting himself off his seat at the kitchen table. Time had been cruel to his body, and the Jones family, in particular the youngest, Simon, had noticed how <laughs> difficult it had become for him to move. Seeing his grandpa struggle, Simon walked over to him and reached out a hand to help him up. His grandpa raised himself slightly off the chair to take Simon's hand, but quickly toppled to the ground as Simon kicked the chair out from beneath him. A loud crunch of bones rang out through the Jones family home, and grandpa began to wail with pain. The Jones family roared with laughter. (laughs) Simon slowly (laughs) kneeled next to his grandpa and whispered in his ear, Just a bit of fun, you old... Grouch. The patchword of the day is... Grouch. (laughs) Jackie was excited as fuck. (laughs) She knew she'd landed the job. The first job interview went great. The second was as good as she'd ever had. And the third was just a formality. The recruiter said she'd get in touch on Wednesday. Wednesday came. 3pm, 4pm, 4.30pm. Suddenly, a call from a private number. Ring, 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 ring. (laughs) Hello? Hello? Hi, is this Jackie? Yes, it is. Jackie, I have some great news for you. Really? I'm so excited. What is it? You're pregnant. (laughs) Josh. The patchwork of the day day is pregnant. Is Josh. (laughs) All right. The name Amanda flashed up on Jenny's phone as it rang. She must have just finished her big date with Bo. Jenny excitedly answered the call. Oh, my God, how was it? Oh, my God, it was amazing. We did so much. We went everywhere. Whoa, 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 said Jenny. Slow down. Tell me absolutely everything. Give it to me. Blow by blow. (laughs) (laughs) The patchwork of the day is... Blow by blow. (laughs) (laughs) That's great. One of the techniques that I like to employ... On a very warm summer's night, when you don't have an air conditioner in your room, mm. is pedestal fan mm-hmm. and lightly rung face washer, wet, lightly rung. <laughs> <laughs> like that Louis Patton of speech. <laughs> wet. Here you go. Face washer over your forehead. Face. <laughs> Over your like, forehead. It sounds like face. No. It sounds like yeah. you're doing some sort of shopping list. It's like <laughs> face washer, lightly rubbed. Wet. <laughs> wet. Make sure you get it the It should wet be one. wet, lightly yes. rubbed. Wow, yes. that's that's really groundbreaking stuff, no, Chris. That is. <laughs> Not hang a lot on, of people know hang that. on. No, do, do you it. do it? No, I don't. It will cool you enormously. Really? Absolutely. It's unbelievable. How wet are you getting the face washer? It's pretty damp. And yeah. and when you fall asleep, be prepared. It will wet your pillow. So, uh, <laughs> <laughs> so a side question: do you, do you did you have face washers as a kid? And can you remember your face washes as kids? The face washer was Here always used when yeah. you were sick or ill. Yes, that's and right. was to put over your forehead. Blue and white, mine was. Yeah. Yep. You I had don't... a face washer. Literally. You remember it like a blankie. Yeah. 
I slept a little facey <laughs> and I had a little pillow for my forehead as well. What's your point? <laughs> <laughs> um, Detachable foreign. Because it can be really frustrating when you're hot in bed and you can't get comfortable. And so what I tend to do in this, I don't hang it on, but if I've got the fan, sometimes I will just get up and just like splash water all over my torso. What, why wouldn't you do the face? And washer? then when I lay down, the wor- air over yes, me. I agree. Super char- I, I know I should do the yeah. the. the just, just try. I will. What's your? T- is it actually on? What's your torso? Is it actually on your, your body? chest? Oh, okay. I was just a bit confused why you didn't do it on your breasts. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> no, you just said in that particular area, and I was my like, my torso. Your torso. That's, that's, yeah. a, that's a hard one for the people listening to get. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Which is why you should be watching on YouTube. A good point. Not you. You you, you record it. <laughs> but no, that's a good one. That's great. That that that's that's caveman, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, 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 yeah. Cave but, woman. But it's really effective. As a substitute for an air conditioner, Simil- well, yeah, similar to the spritz in the face with a water bottle. Yeah. Do you like the spritz? And I during, hate during the, the day. During the day, do you like a spritz? I'm never getting a spritz during the day. I don't like a spritz. No, because it's scary. <laughs> That's scary. Yeah, That's you never know when reason. it's gonna. Well, it's kind of you close your eyes and you're kind of like, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> who's spritzing you? Uh, <laughs> the bloody pol- the riot police. <laughs> <laughs> Just crank that hose off. <laughs> no, because it, it's that feeling of like, oh, I don't know when I'm going to be cold. It's like you've just come out of Chernobyl. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Um, do you ever move to uh, like the, I move to the coolest room? Oh, you change rooms? I have to change rooms. I'm much happier sleeping on an uncomfortable couch, I, like like uh, comfort, like pillow wise, yes. or, or you know what I mean. Um, then uh, yeah, I guess there's a problem is as soon as you're lying in that bed a little too long and you haven't got to sleep, yeah, then your sleeping lane is super hot. And then, yeah. then the whole thing's gone. Oh, yeah. so are you moving over to another lane? Ideally, if you can move over to the other side of the bed or something, yeah. you, particularly, we've all, we all know about turning, flipping the pillow, oh. those kind of things. It was the first Facebook group I ever joined. It was like flipping your pillow on the ro- on the other side so that it's cool. I was Sleeping like, on the cool side of the pillow. Yeah, that's the yeah. one. I like that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I love it. Yeah. <laughs> first, with Facebook, you're like, I do like that. I do like that. And now what do you do? What do you do on Facebook? I fucking hate this. Piece of shit, Zuckerberg. <laughs> Zuckerberg? Zuckerberg, yeah. He's German. Zucker. Uh, yeah, I also... The other thing I do... Sorry. Sorry, I was just going to ask, Josh, how many lanes does your bed have? Probably two. Probably two. two. Oh, really? So you split it in half? Yeah. You're going to heat up one half, roll to the other. I can get cool. right over. If it's really hot, I'll just fully shuffle over the other side. Mm. Now... What about when there's a partner on the other side? Yeah, it doesn't matter. <laughs> Get out of my lane. Do you, do you ever flick a leg out from under the sheets? Uh, oh. Sheet. sheet. I Duna's off on a really hot night, but I do need a sheet. Duna's into the bin. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Duna's, so do you have anything covering you? I kind of need something. Everyone yes. needs something. Yeah, yep. it's too weird. A rule. <laughs> Everyone needs something. <laughs> oh my God. When going to sleep on a really, really hot night, have a light little sheet on you. Yeah, you need yeah. something. No Top idea. Sheets. No idea. Is that is that a womb thing? Womb? Yeah. I don't know. Always needing something. Womb-like. What, needing a top sheet? <laughs> in a womb? Imagine if you came out of the womb with a top <laughs> sheet. Someone wash this. It's real hot in there, guys. It's been nine months. There's no air con in there. I'm roasting. <laughs> oh. Use my top sheet as a face washer. <laughs> um, yeah, I do find I need something over me. And as well, you can kind of billow it sometimes, which is quite nice. Yeah. Get a bit of airflow going yeah, on. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, what do you mean? Billow, like, just <laughs> no, you put be- your top sheet up and down a bit. Oh, just, just do it. Air, yeah, that's yeah, a really lovely yeah. thing. But you've got to get that air moving, right? Yeah. That's important. One thing I do often, my feet feel really hot. So sometimes I will just go to the shower Fantastic. and just rinse my feet in nah. cold water. What, oh, during on. the night? Yeah. That's if a, I'm like, a grip. I can't That's get a- comfortable here. I'm just going to wet my feet fully. Why don't you- I just think you need to kick them out from under the top sheet. Uh, that's not doing enough. I need relief. I need sweet relief from the heat. So you're saying hmm. your feet are so hot yes. that they need to be dunked it's in a- water? Yes, it's a key point. But, uh, do- but don't you it. absorb all the heat through your, your head? Isn't that a thing? Head and head and feet. Or is that the sun? <laughs> Pen, yeah, cool. feet, oh, really? Feet's a thing? Yeah, feet's absolutely yeah. a thing. In terms oh. of rapid cool down, the other rapid yeah. cool down spot, if you're really, really hot. Here it is. Under the arms. Oh, mm. that's huge. And that's a lovely feel. You're going to put a face washer somewhere else. Yeah. I Rub that's under probably there. it. And under the shower, having quite a cold shower, I'll just ah, let the water sit and run yeah, down now there for let's, a bit. Let's classify when you say cold shower. I don't think I can do zero hot. Yes. Yeah. That's true. It's it's almost frightening. That people tell me they do it and they're yeah. lying. Unless they're uh, c- 
cold water system is different and it doesn't get that cold because oh. ours is really cold. Like if you turn the hot off, it's very, hey, very hey, cold. What do, you, what do you like in the ocean? Going in the I ocean? I love the ocean. Takes really? your breath away. But yeah, I'm prepared for that. That's interesting. But that's not, that's not as cold as coming out of a shower. The it's, ocean. A, it's completely different. Yeah. Being completely submerged in water that's really yes. cold, you kind of level out on that real quick. Yeah. I, I don't know yeah, if that that's is. a very good really? point. But a cold shower, it's like you're kind of half in, half Do out. Do you it's think like, having oh. a cold shower, if I really sunk into it, like I just forced myself to deal with it, I'd acclimatise? I reckon, yeah, if you just like squatted down and craked on the cold... And you just copped it. It's apparently quite right. Apparently good for you. I yeah, I think so. But I feel like you could say that about anything, right? Yeah. yeah. I feel like, you know... Smoking you know, cigarettes. Smoking cigarettes. <laughs> <laughs> apparently it's good for you. <laughs> but yeah, I think the cold... Uh, do you guys routinely do the cold shower before bed? No. I'll have a I'll have a warm... Like, it won't be a hot shower. It'll be a cool. Yeah, okay. Wait, is that shower. a thing? People do cold... Oh, if it's hot, really, yeah, yeah, if it's really hot, it's really hot like, I'm not going to be able to get to sleep here. Yeah, I'm going to yeah. have a but, quick cool shower. But I do, I do love being slightly wet... From the shower, getting on top of all the sheets, acknowledging to myself, there are times where I'll acknowledge tonight, I'm not even getting under the duvet. Yeah. Hey, well, I'm well, on top. Is that a good <laughs> idea? Getting your bed a bit wet? It sounds like a great idea. Well, it's more so I'm a bit wet and I've got the fan on. Yeah. Yeah. And the fan, the fan, do you, if it's a pedestal fan, is that thing rotating or you want it in a fixed position? I did it last night. Me too. Fantastic fixed. question. Like fixed. Fixed. Yeah, I wanted fixed on my torso, Dion. You're kidding. Oh, oh it, was there a point in the... Mi- and be honest with us, because we can tell when you're lying. Was there a point in the middle of the night where you're like, oh, it's a bit cold? Uh, no. And the, the brown noise from the fan. Uh, I slept the really best. well. I didn't. I had. I hadn't best. factored that oh. in. And I was like, that was a dream. Yes. Yeah, interesting. Absolutely. Brown yeah. noise. Do you sleep with brown noise? All the time. So really? having the, the fan on is yeah. just, I don't need to use the stereo. But you guys both oscillate? Yeah, yeah, big yeah. Time. Really? O- oscillate between oscillating and not oscillating. <laughs> oh no, I'm I'm perma oscillate. You know really? the great thing about yeah. the oscillate is you yeah. have the constant. Oh, there it is. You get that all the That's time. That's a nice uh, surprise. The great relief of like, oh, yeah. come back, please. And we oh, don't have enough is. surprises yeah. nowadays, but do, do you, we? That's a nice. Can we one. all acknowledge that the moment of ah, oh, there it is. It's so much shorter than it should be. Oh, you'd like to change the pattern of the oscillation? No, I'd like. Well, yes, I'd like a fan huh. that gave me a bit more hit time. Here you go. In its oscillation. In terms of the oscillation degrees, like, Mm. you know, the degrees it's moving, do you angle it so you're at the edge, the one edge? Uh, Does that make sense? No. You should do that because then- No, that's a very good idea. Then it pauses a bit on the edge, pauses on you, and then swings back the other way. The reason I keep myself in the center of the angle- is because I feel like it's getting, it's promoting circulation of the it's room, good, of the good. room, of the air in the room. Oh, I'm never thinking about the air in the room. I'm just thinking of oh, really? my body, whether I'm cool or I not. I think that's what you should be considering. That really? here's, here's the other question: position. Where is it going? You're lying location, in your bed. Location, location, location. It's everything. Yeah. Do you, is it you just corner oh, of the, the room? Corner of the room. Yeah, corner of the room. Boring answer for me. Corner of the well, room. Well, because mine's <laughs> dependent on where I have shelving and stuff. So mine's kind of equal with the foot of my bed facing up at me. What do you mean? It depends on shelving. I've got a little one that it's not a full like stand freestanding one. It's like a desk one. Oh, yeah. you pull the wool over of her eyes. But I don't have a spot. <laughs> I can't put it on the ground wherever I want, so it's dictated by that. But oh, I'll. I okay. like to have it over halfway in the room, yep. just catching me as it goes. Isn't there a thing about having? Isn't only meant to have ice, like an ice oh, thing. If you put an ice bucket ice in, front in front of it. Of, in front of it, that, apparently it. That'd be similar to the uh, yeah, the tea towel. It's the, the, face, tea towel. the face washer on the face. Oh, that's what it is. Yeah. Well, that's good to know. Just talking oh, about <laughs> the uh, getting cool when you are a bit hot, just mm. to switch back to the clothes a bit. Mm. Have you gone the linen pants, the linen shirt? No, but Josh, you have, haven't you? I have. And you fucking love it. What is the big deal with linen? The long, the longness of them, it creates that air buffer, keeps you cooler. Oh. The longness, as in it billows quite a bit. No, it like protects you. It makes a cushion of air around your body in that space. Hang on. So what, it keeps what linen, you cooler. What linen are you wearing? Not just any long sleeve things that's got a bit of room to it. Same with pants. It gives it, it, there's a, a cushion of air. Yeah. Is this the scientific reason you're well, giving Well, that's why us? all those people, like the Bedouins and stuff, you see all them in their long clothes. Wait, it's actually cooler. Wh- why? How did Maybe they- the Bedouins just aren't that clever. <laughs> <laughs> or operate at really high temperatures. It yeah. makes sense. Yeah. And Maybe then- the Bedouins forgot to move to somewhere cooler. <laughs> Whatever will we do? <laughs> Change the way we dress, but we're not moving. <laughs> Peanut butter? Why not peanut jam? 
<laughs> Pregnant. <laughs> you can't have it. You're pregnant. Why do I think that roof tiles are just placed on top of each other? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus. I... <laughs> Some babies get it. <laughs> but other babies, they don't get it. <laughs> Patchworkers, thank you so much. This has been a joy. <laughs> it's been a joy to usher in summer with you. And Christian's now going to play some usher for us. <laughs> <laughs> Who loves the summer? Thank you so much. It's been a lot of fun. Lots to learn today. My we, God. We covered about how you prepare for the day when you read that weather report. What oh, are you yeah. paying attention to? Dino's paying attention to the UV. We learned that, you know, Josh loves having his shirt open to cool down. and it- Pedal stool fans. Where do you put them in the room? Yeah, yeah. yeah. But you should always cover it in a damp, what was it, rung out? A rung. Rung. rung, yeah. rung Slightly rung. rung. Slightly rung. Uh, and what else did we discuss? We, we had a few rules, a few solid rules. Mm. Can't remember what they were, but that doesn't matter. It's summer. <laughs> Um, and look, I've got a question for you, not either of you. Have you signed up to Patreon? Have you heated our call? Heated? We're- <laughs> <laughs> um, yes, please sign up to Patreon. Our last bonus patch was enormous. It was 20 minutes or something. Yeah. All, yeah. all, all, all guaranteed quality. Yeah. Um, a couple of bucks a month. Uh, it's the life of the show. So thank you to every single patron. It's hugely appreciated. Uh, without you, this show could not go on. www.patreon.com forward slash welcome to patchwork. You can also ask us those questions on our social media. You can. YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, Facebook. We've got Literally them all. Literally everything. I don't think there's any we don't have. Yeah. We're pretty good like that. Yeah. Truth will be on truth <laughs> soon. <laughs> and as well, the other thing you should that's, do. Sorry, that's probably the platform that suits us the most, I reckon. <laughs> <laughs> the other thing that you should do is also leave us a review. Uh, yeah. It actually helps us out heaps in terms of uh, spreading the show on lists and stuff. So if you're on Spotify, leave a review there. Or Apple Podcasts, leave a review there yeah, for yeah. us. Yeah, we got a lovely review the other day. Very, very much appreciated. In fact, I think I, I, think I even have it here. It is from... Issy Cassano, who said, incredibly hilarious boys. I wasn't <laughs> sure if that meant incredibly hilarious boys or incredibly hilarious both ways. Thank you, Issy. Thanks, Thank you Issy. so much. And as we do every week, we sew a new patch into our quilt of friendship. Josh! What? Patch you <laughs> sew into our, into our quilt of this way. Thank you, Dion. My patch this <laughs> week is Christian finding the perfect water temperature by having a nice dappled shower. <laughs> Christian, what patch did you sew this week? Thank you, Josh. This week I sewed into my patch. The better one drives people dressed head to toe in wet face washes to stay cool. <laughs> And Dion, what did you sew into your patch this week? My patch this week is Josh inventing a new dappled sunscreen that when applied to your whole body only protects your torso. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for listening to another summer edition of Welcome to Patchwork. <laughs> I've been Dion. I've been Josh. And I've been Christian. Goodbye. 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 Goodbye.